Hi guys, hope you're well. This is a slightly different video blog this week. So what I wanted to do, and uh, it's to answer quite a few questions which I get, which is all to do with this itself. So the actual kind of video blog, what do I do, how do I do it, what do I film with, what microphones do I use, what lights. And I think that it's fairly accepted now that video is definitely a big medium for the future. It's a great way to engage with your clients, your customers, your friends, your general kind of network for them to try and get a feel for who you are as a company, who you are as a person. And actually we really have kind of embraced that. For people that still aren't sure, I'll put a link below, which is a fantastic piece that I read on the benefits of video. But what I wanted to try and do today was try and explain how I film my blogs, the kind of behind the scenes stuff. So what I will try and do with my iPhone, so apologies, let's get this to video. Okay. So now, both on the screen and also on my phone, I'll do a picture in picture so you can see. This is what I see when I film my video blog. So you have four LED lights, which I personally chose battery powered um, because it means that they're portable. So if we film outside, it's supposed to be tied to the mains. This is my Canon 60D. Uh, I must admit I have other cameras, but the reason I choose this one for the video blogs is actually this. It's to do with the the screen itself which can flip around so that actually when you film you can check that you're in shot. The lens itself is a um, ultrasonic 24-70 f2.8 which might not mean much to a lot of people but actually it's a very high quality lens that when you shoot at f2.8 you can get a very sharp image but also blur the background. As for the kind of lighting the first one I bought was actually this uh, LED light which they use on the Kardashians which hopefully makes you look quite pretty. And then also these others, which I must admit, I generally kind of, I change the setup quite a lot depending on the lighting conditions outside, different things. Um, but the other one was that actually I always tend to film on Friday afternoons when everyone else has gone home, the office is quiet, I won't get distracted. Uh, and that's generally I film on Friday afternoons, then post ideally on Monday. You don't tend to get too much traction on weekends or Fridays. Um, so this is kind of behind the scenes and then I will quickly go and uh, remove the memory card which is here and I'll kind of show you this when we go to the iMac okay so there you go okay guys so what I'm now going to do is show you how quick and easy it is to actually kind of get the video file from the camera uh, onto the onto the computer onto the iMac and then kind of get it onto YouTube so it's very simple and I'll kind of talk you through it so what I've already done is drag the, the file straight from the camera bear in mind it was in one take onto the desktop which I've got here then I tend to use uh, iMovie, which is the bog standard software you get with a Mac nowadays. I think if you buy it, it's 14 quid, so it's really cheap. Then you import the folder, drag it down here. Uh, I also put the Nautic logo on top, and actually do something called Picture in Picture, which is where you uh, can take the logo and basically overlay it over separate different types of video. And obviously you can do this either with a, an image or with separate video. So obviously you'll see the, the kind of PNG file for any kind of techie marketing people. Uh, so you get the see-through, which is great. So there you go, done. Just make sure this all works fine, no problem. Just wanna check one thing. And okay, so once you have your, your video, again, it's all done in one take. It helps with, definitely with the editing. Uh, you've overlaid, so you've actually put your logo in the corner. You go file export this is actually this particular video is for a 10 event which we have on the 24th of june next and basically you export it to the desktop which i've already done which is here so then the next trick is you go to your browser youtube uh, we have a, a youtube channel which we use to host our videos you go to upload and then you quite simply export the new video to here and it uploads it, it is as simple as that so you're talking five minutes max um, and that's it and what I'll do is hopefully show you the finished product I'll put a link below and um, yeah it is that simple so yeah guys there you go it is that kind of simple where I, I come after I've kind of generally finished work finished all my kind of normal tasks so I, I finish my day job before I actually start any of the stuff that I see as extra which is this kind of thing so I'll come set up film I tend to try and do it in one take. Never happens, but I, I like it. I prefer to have a few mistakes, but try and keep it natural than have something which is super rehearsed, which, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, 
film, one take, go in the computer. Hopefully I will have shown you uh, how we kind of set it up with the logo in the corner. Upload to YouTube, done. You can actually do the whole thing in 15, 20 minutes if you really kind of a push. But yeah, video blogs, I would love to see more. I've got a lot of friends who've started to do it as well. I would love to see uh, your attempts, how it works. And I promise you that this is the future of the internet. I see it as being the future of kind of BD client relations in general, especially if you cover multiple kind of geographies or areas. And um, yeah, LinkedIn, let me know your thoughts. Okay, thanks a lot, bye.